Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natoya and on this channel we discuss and make art. It's been a really long time since I've made a video and I decided to do a real-time gel plate print for you guys just to show you that, you know, everything doesn't always work out perfectly 100% like I needed to and that I do many takes of these prints before I get something that I like. So we're going to do three prints in this video and we will talk about them. So okay, I'm starting with my um, heavy body acrylic paint and I'm just putting a generous amount on this gel plate. I recently picked up this gel plate, um, well not picking it up, but I bought it on Amazon. It is an eight and a half by, or sorry, an eight by 10, I'm thinking eight and a half by 11, like paper size. Anyways, I put a thin layer of um, acrylic paint onto the gel plate and then I'm going to use this magazine sheet to imprint it into the gel plate. So when I buy magazines, I typically buy my magazines from the thrift store and I go for two types of magazines. I love um, a home and garden magazine and a really high fashion magazine. So I'm always asking around to friends and family to see if they have magazines or I like frequent the thrift stores quite often. All right, so that looks really great, I think, but we will see in the end. I'm just using some white paint to sort of create a nice little background so that it lifts really nicely from the gel plate. Ideally, you should do this once the first image that you put down has dried, but I'm a little bit overzealous and I'm honestly not trying to get anything too perfect from these prints um, I just want to show you guys what it really is like to just go at it on your gel plate I know that on my TikToks you guys are like wow those are so perfect how do you do that the honest truth is it's about maybe my eight try before I get something that I like so you can't be too precious about your images unless you know exactly what you're doing all right, so I'm pushing that down into the gel plate. This video is hardly edited, so just so you know. So this is real time. And this is my positive image. I have some ghosting in the blue areas from where I had done a previous gel print before. So yeah, that showed up, but you know, it still looks okay. And not everything comes off came off the plate so I'm just going over it one more time just to get everything completely off the plate. Alright, so now we have these two sort of base images to work from and now we can build our collage with whatever we have. So now I'm going to use this green with a little bit of white and literally you guys, I'm just making it up as I go along. There's no rhyme, no reason, no science, just having fun making <laughs> some gel prints. See here, um, the magazine sheet wasn't big enough for the plate, so I'm just using a scrap piece of paper to um, lift off some of the paint from the exposed areas of the gel plate, which is mainly just on the left side of the plate. So you see that little, just that little bit. 
right, let's take a positive of this image and see what we've got. I'm trying to work out which paper should I use. And that's the beauty of a real-time video. Um, you guys are seeing me making my decisions as I go. Um, and I, it, this is really important to me to show you this because I get some messages where people are super frustrated with themselves and they're saying my gel plate doesn't work or this isn't working for me but all you need is a little bit of patience and a lot of play so play as much as you can for a while before you really buckle down and take it way too seriously okay so this did not turn out like I wanted to there's a faint image of the chair and the picnic table but again not exactly what I wanted to so now this is the last layer that I'm going to put on the plate and typically I like to work from the most the lightest to the darkest color because they just layer much better and now we're going in with our Mars black and we're gonna take this image of this lovely lady and put it down and because I don't want all that extra area where she is I'm going to use my scrap piece of paper once more and just kind of roll it over and get rid of all the excess um, paint on the plate there we go and this little scrap piece of paper becomes really interesting in the end because it has its has kind of like its own life so that is I think that's really cool in my opinion there she is on the plate let's take a positive and see um, how it turns out I'm obviously quite proud of this because I keep zooming into it And this is my positive the image isn't it's really beautiful it's a nice print but the image isn't as crisp or as it's lacking something it's not as crisp as I would prefer it and I like I said before just wanted to show you guys how that works out so these are some other prints that I'll be making and I'll just add some music in for the rest of the video and you guys can enjoy just this process of me making these prints. Always, I'm extremely grateful for each of you that takes the time to watch and interact with these videos. I have some fun things planned for the upcoming weeks. I will be showcasing a lot more of my actual art practice as gel plate printing is about 0.25% of the artwork that I typically do so I'm really excited to show you guys what my true art practice is and you know we'll go from there as many of you know I'm in the last semester of my fine arts degree and I want to share that with you guys I want to make this more of a community space of creating art and sharing ideas so that will be great that'll be really fun and yeah just keep watching i will be making two more prints and thank you so much for being here and i promise i will never stay away this long ever again thanks for watching you guys Enjoy the video.